Thanks for watching the premiere, world premiere, a TV premiere of Freedom, the movie. Rebecca and I wanted to share one interesting aspect of this film. This is a very personal film for us because it's a follow-on to our film Fuel, which you may have also seen on Free Speech TV a while back. One of the big issues that Fuel dealt with was this kind of crisis that occurred in the media around the idea of making fuel from any biological source. And of course, the media shot that idea down, and we later learn in Freedom, which you just watched, that that was a campaign and that was bought and paid for and funded by nefarious bad people or bad interests, right? So Freedom, the whole point of us making Freedom was to kind of address that. So if that campaign wasn't the truth, what was the truth, which is why we made the movie and it's why we looked so heavily at ethanol, because ethanol was the one thing that was so criticized. And I think now you've seen the movie, you may have a different perspective. We certainly have a different perspective having made that movie. Um, and, and I think uh, it's, it's, you know, at the very least, it's worth taking a look at these other fuel sources, especially the ones like ethanol that can be made from waste uh, because we produce a lot of waste in the US and that is a viable fuel source option. Yeah. And and actually, if you're more interested in, in learning about fuel from waste, we made another movie that talks about that called Pump, and that's now available on Netflix and other streaming options on the internet. So we encourage you to watch that as well if this is a subject that interests you. And this is timely. We're not always going to make movies uh, just about fuel and oil <laughs> and energy. Although it so seems like it, it'll never it's, end. It seems like that's all we've done. <laughs> But you've got to watch them because, you know, eventually we'll go make movies about other things. And yeah. and this is really the opportunity to get this information out, which, again, is why we're so thankful to Free Speech TV, because they continue to air this type of content. You know, obviously, this is the type of stuff that certain companies don't want you to see and it wouldn't get aired in other places. So we're thrilled to be again with Free Speech TV. Uh, and we're excited that you're supporting that network because, you know, it's really through this exchange as well as the conversations that happen online that we're able to to have to exercise our right to have this wonderful information available uh, for all Americans. So thank you again to Free Speech TV for having freedom on. To me, there's no more important thing that I could be doing with my life than exploring these issues and helping to create content with my partner, whom I love, and um, you know, make a difference in the world. That's really what it's about for us. I remember at the very beginning, you were like, are you committed? Because if we're going to do this, you have to be really committed. And I was really committed. I was really committed. And that was really the foundation for our relationship, our marriage, and for our incessant, persistent, you know, commitment to going out and looking at oil and looking at alternatives and looking at the impact of oil. Um, and it hasn't all been great. Some of it's been really scary, certainly. Um, when we were filming Freedom and The Big Fix, I got really sick because we were covering the oil spill, the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, as you saw in Freedom. and. Um, doctors said that I was, I shouldn't get pregnant and that if I did get pregnant and have a baby, that there was a strong likelihood that our child would have a malformation or be, be malformed. So that was very scary. And we, um, started doing a lot of cleansing and doing a lot of, you know, things that we could do to get really healthy after that. Um, this is, this wasn't the first time that Josh had dealt with this because his mom, if you had seen fuel, you saw his mom got sick because they lived in Cancer Alley in Louisiana. So it's something that sort of plagued Josh's life as people getting sick from the impacts of oil. And so anyway, fast forward a couple of years of, of being really healthy and taking care of my body and eating the right foods and eliminating the wrong things from my diet, um, we decided to have a baby. And sure enough, we got pregnant. And um, then we found out that she had a birth defect. And that was terrifying. And she had a one, there was a one in three chance that something could be seriously wrong. And fortunately, thank God, um, it was with the umbilical cord. And we didn't know what the outcome of that was gonna be, but when she was born, she was perfect. And we were so lucky and we we're so blessed to be able to bring our daughter into the world. And so we, and we named her Athena, which is um, you know the protector of Athens. And so for us, Athena means that she'll be a protector of our planet. And 
help us in our crusade to make the world a better place. You know, people always watch these movies and they go, what can you do? And we try and put a top 10 things you can do. And and with Freedom specifically, and even that carries over into our next film, Pump, uh, one of the things you can do is you can get a flex fuel kit and put it on your car. And we've seen them work. We've used them. We have one in our bus that we, we drive. Uh, fuel Flex International sells them. Change to E85.com sells them. So, you know, these boxes about this big and there's a wire that goes to each spark plug. It's not rocket science to install it if you need a hand installing it. Most mechanically minded people, even some mechanics I've help installed you. one. Yeah, they're not they're not terribly hard to I install. I know nothing about cars. Um, and, and, you know, of course, some people will be scared about their warranty and stuff like that. And, and look, if you're really committed, you can put one in, you can take it out if you have to take the car back to the dealer. So that's a possibility for you to do something. The other thing, which is something that Rebecca and I are doing now, is for the first time in, well, since Henry Ford and Thomas Edison, for the first time since then, you can buy an American-made electric vehicle. So uh, right now we have one American-made electric vehicle, which is a Chevy Volt. It is an electric car with a gasoline motor uh, that kicks on after about 38 miles. So you drive 38 miles on electricity, and then if you need to go further, it uses a bit of gasoline. Well, what's brilliant about this is the average Volt owner fills their tank once every thousand miles. So imagine, you know, you may drive 12,000 miles a year or something like that. If you would only have to fill your tank 12 times and the car's made in America. The other car we're looking at is a Ford. Um, and that that is a plug-in electric as well. So. So, you know, our objective is to have two American-made cars in our driveway. We will eventually put ethanol kits in them, and they're going to be running on electricity. When they're not running electricity, they're going to be running on American-made fuel. None of these options are perfect, but that's a heck of a lot better than, uh, you know, funneling money into a region of the world which is very unstable. So why fund, you know, uh, destabilization when you can fund our country right here. That's kind of our philosophy. Well, we're so excited that you took the time to watch Freedom, that you're taking the time to support Free Speech TV. There's a lot of great content on this channel. Keep tuning back in. I'm sure we'll have more movies, hint, hint, coming out <laughs> in the future uh, through Free, Free Speech TV. And in the meantime, you know, get, on, get online, join the discussions. You know, we have several websites. Uh, we've got our company website, bigpictureranch.com, joshtakel.com. There's a website for the Freedom movie. What is that? It's that is thefreedomfilm.com. Thefreedomfilm.com. Our original yeah. website's still up, thefuelfilm.com. The Big Fix for our other film uh, that um, that is about the oil spill. All those websites and many more. So uh, we really encourage you to get involved in your social media network as well as your social network and tell people, look, there are great alternatives uh, and they're getting better every day. You can drive without oil. Yeah. I mean, the best way to change the world is to change your car. <laughs>